What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Alexandra Pervectin. Pervectin has responded to Dillian White. For those who don't know backstory, Dillian White has uh, called Pervectin, or he called Pervectin, a coward. And the reasons for him saying so was that these guys were about to fight. These guys were going to fight maybe four or five months ago, uh, a little bit before that. Um, and that was, and Pervectin agreed to that fight after the David Price fight, okay? And what ended up happening, um, Pervectin ended up not fighting Dillian White and taking the Joshua fight. Therefore, Dillian White calls Alexander a coward, okay? Alexander replied back, I don't know why you would call me a coward. Everything is according to plan. I'm not going to retire, you know, so whoever the uh, rival may be, that's who it's going to be, regardless of who it is. OK. Um, let me counterpunch this. So everybody knows the facts. Dillian White wanted a fight with Pavectin. And Pavectin first said, yes, I'll fight you verbally after a fight. Right. Then he renegs, but he renegs because he decides to wait out for Anthony Joshua. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. OK, so for Dillian White to say something or to call him a coward because he decided to wait on the unified champion opportunity rather than the WBC in, in uh, the WBC silver belt that Dillian White has. I think it was a good move for, you know, Pervectin. Sure, he made some money. You know, he fought in Wembley, you know, and then he, he gave AJ a good fight. So why would he turn that down? You see what I'm saying? I'm, I would I would do the same thing. That's no difference from what Dillian White's doing right now, really. Because for him to call him a coward because he, you know, he didn't want to fight me. All right. Well, that's like... Ortiz calling you a coward because you didn't want to fight him because he has nothing to offer. Not saying that Dillian White had nothing to offer. I'm not saying that, but compared to what AJ had to offer in that opportunity, yeah, it was. It, you know, that's a no brainer. Would you fight AJ over here to fight to to get four belts, or would you fight uh, Dillian White to get a regular belt, a piece of a WBC, which isn't even the super title? which is the recognized title that Deontay Wilder has. Which one is it going to be? You know, it seems like to me, Dillian White took offense to him blowing him off. And that's all I see, you know, but he's blown people off himself. So, I mean, he has no reason to, or no way to talk, you know, I mean, he can sit there and say, yeah, he, he fought Parker. That was a good fight, you know, but not everyone's going to do what Dillian White's going to do, you know, um, and what is he doing to Ortiz now? I touched on that. He could have fought Ortiz. He can fight Ortiz right now. He doesn't have to worry about what Josh was going to do, but it would make sense if he did. Why? Because it's an opportunity for him to fight Joshua again in the rematch. Okay. For the third fight, one amateur, one professional in the second professional fight. So nobody, including Ortiz could give him shit about picking AJ over him. You see what I'm saying? It would make no sense. You know, it would make no sense for Ortiz to say, you know what? Dylan White's a coward because he didn't want to fight me because Ortiz should clearly see logically that Dylan White has an opportunity. So if Ortiz had that same opportunity, he would do the same thing just like Pervectin did. That's an easy counterpunch. You know, for Pervectin, he just responded. He no trash talk. You know, no trash talk, <laughs> like uh, Manny says, but none of that, you know, no bad words. He was just like, I don't even know what your deal is. Like, why would you even say that? Don't you know I had an opportunity and I took it? You would do the same thing if you were in my situation. OK, let's do this. You know what I mean? And what I say about that now is this. What about now? You know, if Dillian White's not going to be the guy, I know he doesn't want to fight on the undercard, which Pervectin will be on the undercard of the April 13th date, if there even is an April 13th date. nothing set in stone. But you know he's not retired. He's coming back to the sport of boxing. So if you feel that way, if you feel he was a coward, why don't you fight him?
You know what I mean? If you wanted to fight him before, I mean, one loss doesn't hurt. He lost to two of the best guys, the best middleweights, really. One, one legend and one current, okay? Klitschko and Joshua. That's his only two losses, so he still has a good record. Sure, he's over. People think he's over the hill, but prove he's over the hill. You know, for these, for for what these guys talk that come out of their mouth, they should let their fists and actions do the talking. You know what I mean? As far as saying someone's washed up, you know. And let me touch on this. Basically, these guys are saying that Prevectin's old, washed up. Because they want to discredit Joshua. A lot of people will discredit uh, Deontay Wilder because of Ortiz. Oh, he Ortiz is washed up. You know, he's old. These guys are the same age. Okay. If they're washed up and they're old, fight these guys. Stop talking shit about them. Okay. Dylan White, you don't have to talk shit about Pavectin if you don't plan to fight him. You know what I mean? I, I Yeah, I, he's a raw dog. You know what I mean? But, but eventually you're going to get tired of... Or people get tired of trash talk. You know what I mean? I mean, without fighting these guys. Beat these guys ass, then say that about them. You know what I mean? And when you fight them, they will gain mad respect because look what kind of fight you did with Joseph Parker. The guy almost had your ass out. People forget about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was the fight before the fight that he knocked out your sword. But look at that fight. You know what I'm saying? It was a fight there. Whoa, we learned a lot about Dillian White. OK, so for him to talk that or called preventing a coward or in, in washed up or this, that and the other. And then and then say uh, Ortiz is too old. Also, you know, put your money where your mouth is. You know, I mean, he's he's still free. Right. If he feels that way, why don't he just take a date with one of those guys without worrying about Joshua? And he won't do that, will he? No, he won't do that. A, a idiot would do that. Only an idiot would do that. That wouldn't be a, a smart business decision. And that's my counterpunch on it. You guys tell me what you think about Dillian White um, and Pervectin's, uh response. Of course, please subscribe, guys. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.